Hello, my name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control software tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. In this Restoring Factory Calibrations by a Camera Repair and Firmware Upgrade Nucleus application tutorial, we will cover the process to restore a Phantom Camera's factory image calibration data and camera-specific default settings data. Phantom Cameras, when powered down, retain their calibration and preset recording settings in an active, non-volatile memory area of the camera. Both are restored whenever the camera is powered up again. Under some circumstances, it may be beneficial to restore a Phantom Camera back to the factory calibration and default settings. The method used to perform this task depends on the type of camera being restored to its factory settings. Early Phantom Cameras, manufactured prior to 2012, require a file provided by Vision Research known as a .stg or serial tag number file to be loaded to accomplish this. This .stg file contains the camera's image calibration data and camera specific settings data, for example acquisition settings, image processing settings, etc. Phantom cameras manufactured since 2012 no longer require this file to restore the camera back to its factory settings. This is because the camera's image calibration data and camera specific settings, essentially the .stg file, are stored in an offline non-volatile memory area of the camera, which can be reloaded into the active non-volatile memory area by a simple click of the Reload Factory Settings button in the Camera Repair and Upgrade Nucleus dialog window. As I just mentioned, there are two methods to restore a camera back to its factory set image calibration data and camera specific settings. In this portion of the tutorial, I'm going to restore a Phantom camera manufactured prior to 2012. These cameras are referred to as PH7 cameras. To start the process, I'll click the Camera Repair and Firmware Upgrade Nucleus button in the Manager tab to open the Phantom Nucleus dialog window. The next step is to tell the software the camera I want to restore. I can manually enter this information or I can select the camera from the camera pull down selection list and the required data will be populated automatically for me. For this portion of the tutorial I need to select the Phantom V12 Cam1 camera. As you can see, the software has entered the IP address of the camera and the camera's hardware version number. It has also populated the camera information fields with the serial number of the camera, the assigned name of the camera, the firmware version installed in the camera, the installed FPGA or Field Programmable Gate Array firmware version, and the kernel version installed in the camera. I'll need to note the serial number of the camera to load the proper .stg file as you'll see in a moment. Now I need to click the Load Factory Settings button under the Restore Settings tab since I'm going to restore the camera's factory image calibration data and camera specific default settings data to a PH7 camera model. When the Load Camera Settings dialog window appears, I'll navigate to the folder containing the STG or serial tag number file. If I didn't have the original STG file that was supplied by Vision Research with the camera, either on an installation disk or a USB thumb drive, I can contact technical support at technical.support at visionresearch.com to obtain it. So I'll just navigate to the C column program files phantom backup STG folder containing the STG file for the Phantom V12-1 Cam1 camera and select the serial number of the camera.stg file in this case the 10277.stg file then click the open button. The software displays a load factory STG file progress window. Once the process completes I can close the load factory STG file window. The camera has now been restored to the factory camera image calibration and camera specific settings data and is ready for use. 
Now let's talk about the second way to restore cameras back to their factory set image calibration data and camera specific settings. For this portion of the tutorial, I'm going to restore a Phantom camera manufactured since 2012. These cameras are referred to as PH16 cameras. Just as I did before, I'll start the process by clicking the Camera Repair and Firmware Upgrade Nucleus button in the Manager tab to open the Phantom Nucleus dialog window. I could, just like before, manually enter the camera's information, or I can select it from the camera pull-down selection list. Except this time, I'll be selecting the Miro 320S Cam2 camera. And just like before, all the required data will be populated automatically for me. As you can see, the software has entered the IP address of the camera and the camera's hardware version. It also populated the camera info fields with the serial number of the camera, the assigned name of the camera, the firmware version installed in the camera, the installed FPGA firmware version, and the kernel version installed in the camera. However, unlike the last time, when I selected the Load Factory STG option, this time I'll use the Reload Factory Settings button under the Restore Settings tab. When the warning, If you continue, Current Camera Settings Will Be Lost message appears, I'll click OK to reload the factory camera image calibration and camera specific settings data from the camera's offline non-volatile memory area to its active online non-volatile memory area. The camera has now been restored to the factory image calibration and camera specific settings data and is ready for use. So that concludes the restoring factory calibrations via camera repair and firmware upgrade nucleus application tutorial, where you learned how to restore a Phantom camera's factory image calibration data and camera specific default settings data for both P87 and PA16 camera models. For in-depth Phantom operations, Vision Research offers Phantom operations certification training. Please visit our training webpage at www.phantomhighspeed.com Service Support Training or contact your local sales representative who can be found on our website under the Contact Us pull-down selection list for more information about our training sessions or for Phantom Cameras in general.